Half Life's HD models. Mention it and someone in the room might faint or throw up. Created by Gearbox in 2001, the Half Life High Definition Pack was supposed to be used in the Dreamcast port of Half Life, where Blue Shift was a bonus expansion in it. Of course, we all know what happened with Dreamcast, and so the port was cancelled and Blue Shift and the model pack was released on PC. But ever since the dawn of mankind, everyone's been arguing are the HD models good or are they bad? They're not bad actually, more like out of place specifically when you use them outside of Blue Shift, in other games like the original Half-Life or Opposing Force. Even though there isn't much of a gap between Half-Life and Blue Shift, I can personally tell you that things changed drastically between 1998 and 2001. In 1998, we had games like... And in 2001, we had... Oh no... If we compare the two games, Half-Life has less details in its maps than Blue Shift. If you don't believe me, just boot up both games from the start and see how drastically detailed Blue Shift's Black Mesa is compared to Half-Life's. In Blue Shift, I always used to feel that Gearbox went the extra length to make sure that the maps looked really great in terms of detail and they had set pieces even in the introduction where they're fixing PCs and reading newspapers and in Half-Life you have uh, corridors and scientists walking around. Greetings! This does not mean that Blue Shift is a better game than Half-Life itself, but rather how the gaming industry and standards had changed by that point and how long hallways just wouldn't cut it. Now, here's the issue. So, for this newfound level of detail in the research facility that Blue Shift has, the original LD models just wouldn't cut it, I think. That's where the HD pack comes in. With more polygons and better textures, it makes me feel that Half-Life kind of evolved in a subtle way and now Barney actually looks like a human being. Well, artistically speaking, I can't say if these models are objectively good or bad. That's up to personal taste. I only use the HD pack when I'm playing Blue Shift because that's how God intended it to be. I do think the HD pack is a nice official alternative to have in case you get bored of the original models. But judging by you watching a video about a 25 year old game, I don't think you do get bored, do you? One of my favorite things in the HD pack is the shotgun. Oh, the shotgun. Man, it looks great. It sounds great. And it's animated great too. But I've seen a lot of people get angry with the fact that they replaced the MP5 with the Colt Assault Rifle that uses 9mm bullets or just the weapon replacements in general. That's a valid reason to not like the HD models because even I personally think that they should have just upscaled or improved the existing weapons rather than outright replacing them, but still, even with this complaint, I don't think it's fair to say that the HD pack is the worst or outright bad. If not for the weapons, it's worth using for the character models. In summary, the HD model pack is great to use in Blue Shift. It fits the maps of the games and the character models are actually pretty good. But using it in Half-Life or Opposing Force is just odd, to be honest. Lastly, I do want to point out that the One Wolf cast made a video about this topic in 2021. It's a really good video and I remember he reached out to me while he was making it, so if you need further readings, check out that video. It's really well made. Thanks for watching and a big thanks to these benefactors for supporting the channel. I'll see you in the next one.